Hey everyone, it's Iris, and today I thought we'd do something a little different. I just want to play a game. That's it. That's all. Um, so I thought today we could play Graveyard Keeper. I know reviews are a little mixed, but I honestly love this game and have sunk far too much time into it, as you can probably see. But we're going to start a new game, just for all of you who haven't seen this yet. It's an ordinary day, and our hero is hurrying home, where someone very important is waiting for him. Even in everyday routine, there's a place for loving and feeling loved. Especially when you know that someone misses you. <laughs> what happened? Where is everything? Calm down, you've merely turned a page in your life. A whole new chapter awaits you ahead. But I need to go home. Can I go home? There's always a way to get home. Hmm, let me see. Your new home is a graveyard. Does that mean I'm dead? It means you're a graveyard keeper now. But I need to go home to my love. Then you need to be a good graveyard keeper. You should go dig up Jerry. He'll help you sort everything out. I am so sorry if you can hear the cars in the background. Who? What a strange vision. What is this nightmare? Okay, let's go find Jerry. So let's go find our new best friend. <laughs> Holy sard, I'm a skull. Are you Jerry? Hmm, <laughs> why would you think I'm Jerry? A man with a red eye told me that I need to dig up Jerry. A red eye. I remember! Oh, Sard, that's right. I'm Jerry. How did you find me? The man told me that you'd answer all my questions. Good, good, but first let me ask. Who are you, and where the Sard are we? I must be dreaming. None of this can be real. Hmm. You're the new graveyard keeper. What else do I remember? Let me think. I remember that sound. Let's go check it out. Everything is so strange. None of this makes sense. You know, I think it'll be better if I wait for you here. I might scare the poor thing. I definitely remember that bell. And a donkey. Something is very wrong with that animal. He could be dangerous. There's nothing wrong with the donkey. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so technologies are going to be a big thing in this game. And it's, it's great. <laughs> Got a fresh corpse from the town. Wow, a talking donkey. You. You can understand me. Let's talk. Who are you? I'm cheap labor. This cart isn't mine, so I have to work for the capitalist bastard who owns it. And I only earn five carats a day. The situation is deeply humi humiliating. You know where I'm coming from, right, comrade? The bastard pretends that he doesn't understand anything I'm saying. Anyway. I need to go back to the town. You get rid of this one, and I'll bring you a new one. What a strange land this is. I love the donkey. He's great. Hey, what are you staring at? 
Grab that juicy corpse while it's still fresh. What for? I feel like we should take it to the morgue. I don't remember why exactly. But I'm pretty sure it'll be fun. And might be profitable. Oh, I'm going to puke. Let's do it. Bye, Jerry. All right. So we're just gonna make our way in. Sard, I like this place. Feels like home. Put the body on the autopsy table. Then, what's next? Oh yeah, slice some flesh from the corpse. That should be good for starters. What? No way. This isn't right. Sure, sure, it's not right. How could I forget? Maybe because I'm a talking skull with amnesia. Is it right that you don't know where you are? Is it right that I'm a skull? Nothing is right here. So shut the sard up and do what I tell you. You promise you'll tell me how to get home? You just need to trade the meat in the village tavern for a beer. Talking skulls never lie. And then bring the beer to me. Alright. So we're just gonna... Take that. And now we have meat to make food with. <laughs> I I do recommend holding on to the flesh. Don't don't sell it. Cause you're gonna need as much extra energy as you can get, because you are pretty limited by energy here. Especially in the beginning. That's disgusting. You'll get used to it. So, what should I do with the corpse? I don't know. Let's bury it. Take the corpse. I'll wait for you in the graveyard. Okay. Let's bury it. Thank you for the shovel. I don't know where Jerry was keeping that, but um, let's just presume he had it behind a tree. And we'll just take a nice little plot here. In you go. And there we are. Nicely done. Hmm. This burial certificate. I remember money, alcohol, alcohol, hmm. I sure used to like it a lot. Oh, Sard, here comes the bishop. He's your boss. Oh, oh, I know. Ask him about this burial certificate. He should know something. I'd better leave now. I'll be in the morgue waiting for my beer. Dear me, I'm so tired. Why? Why do I have to come here every week? Don't mind the bishop. Checking himself out in his mirror. It's pretty great. Oh dear, the new caper! We've been expecting him for 30 years, but he pretends there's nothing wrong. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but your graveyard is a mess. There's no way I'm promoting you to cleric until you fix it. Alright, so we'll be patching that up before too long. Thank you. As soon as your graveyard quality is at least five, I'll be pleased to promote you. You look like a spiritual leader, and I'm a good judge of character. I'm good at everything. That's why I was chosen to represent his will. His, um, priest hat's not gonna- Bishop's hat? Whatever. His hat's not gonna fit. His head's too big. Your predecessor used to keep his stuff in a trunk somewhere here. You should check it out. I'll come by again next week. In fact, I come here every... purple sun. <laughs> Maybe I'm not dreaming. Did I eat something? He's waiting. What should I say? Why is it you come here? It's part of my duty. 
the unpleasant part. It's kind of an old tradition. I don't know much about all the traditions and rituals. I'm just here to represent his might and glory. I have one tiny question. What is this burial certificate? As soon as a body has been laid to rest, you can trade its burial certificate for money at the village tavern. Thank you. Um, I'm not the keeper. I was going home from work. Uh, I need to go home. There's a talking skull. He forced me to butcher a corpse. Fine joke. I'm a humorist myself. Here's one. Who is BB? Who? I am. <laughs> Blessed and beautiful. Um, how can I fix the graveyard? Just repair all the graves. It wouldn't take me even an hour, but it's your job. And about the certificate. <laughs> It's your payment for laying our brethren to rest. It's all part of an ancient contract between the town and the village. As soon as a body has been laid to rest, you can trade its burial certificate for money at the village tavern. Oh god, this seems too complicated to be a dream. A town. Oh, the town is the heart of our glorious land. The palace, the cathedral, everything is there. You should see it for yourself. But in those clothes? That would be rather funny. How can I get to the town? It's not far from the village. Just head south from the tavern. And where is the village? Just go east from the graveyard gate along the old stone road. No more questions. If you run out of repair kits while fixing the, gra fixing the graveyard, you can always craft new ones. Thank you. Alright, so now that we're actually in the game, and I think most of the tutorial is done, um, there's a lot of technology to unlock. Like, a lot. And, um... <sighs> you get points that you use to upgrade and get new technologies. The blue ones are the hardest to come by. It's, uh... It's a fun time. Okay, there's my hammer. Actually, several years ago when I first got the game... Where am I going? I uh, spent my blue points on the uh, wrong technology, which meant I couldn't get more until I had enough money to buy them. <laughs> so that was fun. Oh, we're going to the town. That's right, that's what we're doing. It's a very long walk. Alright, here we are. Welcome to the dead horse. Welcome to the Dead Horse Tavern. I'm Herodric. How can I help you? I came from the graveyard. I woke up here today and things have been crazy since then. Oh, sorry. How could I not have recognized you? Good. This is good. Things are looking bright for our small village. When are you planning on opening the church? I need to fix the graveyard first. Sure, sure. It's been a while since anybody took care of it. So let's get down to business, shall we? How can I help you? About this burial certificate. Bishop told me that you would buy my burial certificates. Yes, he's right. As head of the village, according to the ancient contract, I have to trade it for money. Of course, only if I have any money. <laughs> what do you mean? The village is going through hard times. We're short on money. But as soon as you open the church, pilgrims will bring lots of shiny coins to the village. Alright, uh, do you know how I can get back home? Can you tell me where I am? Because I really need to get home. My darling will be so worried. You're at the dead horse. Okay. 
It looks medieval. Maybe I traveled through time. And what year is it now? Year? What do you mean? The time it takes for the Earth to make one revolution around the sun? Oh, you've been listening to the astrologer's nonsense. Everybody knows that the Earth is flat. <laughs> But I get you. It's 200 after the ancient contract, and 210 after... Never mind. And what's the name of our, of our beloved kingdom? The kingdom! And it is definitely not beloved here in the village. Do you have any other questions? How can I get a town pass? It's rather complicated. The Inquisitor can grant a town pass, or you can just purchase citizenship. Let me think. You know, there is one villager who could help you. Miss Charm. Maybe she can help you. And finally, I'd like to trade you some fresh meat. Meat is a delicacy in our village. I'd be glad to buy it. I just need to see the royal meat stamp on it. Many years ago, there was an accident with an... inappropriate meat. Ever since, all meat must be approved by royal authority. And I don't need any trouble with the town. Does your meat have a stamp? Actually, no. I don't even want to know where you can get unauthorized meat. But it looks really good. But without a stamp, my hands are tied. Where can I get this stamp? Oh, you can send a form to the royal court through the mailbox near your church, but it'll cost you a bundle. But there's another way. I'll tell you just because we're neighbors. Come closer. There's this guy called Snake. I think he has a fake royal stamp. But to be honest, I haven't seen him for a while. You can ask Miss Charm. She comes here every... red day. I bet she can help you to find Snake. Thanks. Oh, Keeper, could you kindly take this letter to our local blacksmith, Kresvold? Where can I find him? Southeastern corner of the village. We can do that. And we've made our first little bit of money. That is not going to go far at all. Uh, let's just go say hi to her before we, uh, before we leave. You must be the new graveyard keeper. So I've been told. But how did you know? Oh, if you live as long as I have, you'll probably learn how to read people too. But where's my manners? I'm Mrs. Chain, Herodric's wife. Nice to meet you. I have a few questions about- Oh, oh you'd better talk with my husband. He's in charge around here. He's not only the tavern keeper, but also the elected head of the village. Besides, he really does like to talk. All I can do is tell you some recipes. Which is good to know for when we have money. And some more resources. Let's go find the blacksmith. Here he is. Hey, what are you staring at? Nothing, just looking around. I'm the keeper of the local graveyard. May I ask who you are? Unfortunately, I'm the local blacksmith. My name is Kreswold. I have a letter for you from Herodric. A letter? Of course. One minute away and he can't be bothered to come himself. I guess old habits never die. Thank you. Sorry for my nagging. It seems it's my new habit. Oh, slimes again. Herodric has asked me to get rid of them. I don't have the time for those pesky little green bastards, but maybe you can help. Take this rusty sword and energy potion. The sword's broken, but you can repair it with a whetstone on the grinder right behind you. You can keep the whetstone. Maybe you'll need it to repair your shovels sometime. If you manage to kill them, bring me their remains and I'll spare you some materials. They should be right up the other side of my house, near the puddles. Let's just get this out of the way now. I'd like to work with metal myself. Where can I find some ore? You can find metal ore in swamp soil. There's a huge swamp to the west across the river. I used to collect ore there, before the bridge collapsed. And now we know how to craft iron ingots and a furnace. 
So let's go fix our broken sword. Let's see how fast that goes down. And it's equipped. There we go. Good job. Take this whetstone, just sharpen your broken tools, and they'll be good as new. And now we can make food. And with that, we don't have money for much of anything, so we'll just leave it be. And off we go. Back to our graveyard. We might have enough energy to fix, I don't know, maybe two headstones? Might be getting a bit ahead of myself, but we'll see. I recommend, if possible, saving your um, burial certificates and only making the trip into town like once a week if you can swing it. It's such a long walk. Come here. Where have you been? I was at the village. This place is so weird, but it feels so real. And everybody's okay with me just appearing out of nowhere. Sard, you're stealing my thoughts. Stealing, I remember. There's a cellar in your cottage. Some provisions must be stored there. Wheat, exactly. I remember baking bread from it. And pies, sweet berry pies. Toast, onion toast. Oh, that's good with beer. Sard, you know what? I need a beer. This is beginning to feel like a one-sided relationship. Bring me a beer, and I'll tell you a lot of important stuff. Like how you can get home. Questions? Yes, can you tell? It was rhetorical. Do I look like a magic head with answers? Well... Technically, yes. Sard, you smartass. I'll be waiting for that beer at my place. No beer, no answers. Thank you, Jerry. You know what? In that case, maybe we won't go and deal with the graveyard stuff. Maybe instead, we'll just collect some food. head inside, but we're just going to dig up a few more things. <laughs> it's kind of like Stardew Valley in the very beginning. There's just so many different things to do, and you're kind of limited by how much you can do in a day. here every night if I have to, but I'll get through eventually. We'll be talking to him later. Much later. <laughs> when we can actually get through. Looks like I can remove this blockage and fortify the arch. But we'll need several things that we won't have for a while, so we can just leave that be. So let's just head upstairs and go to sleep. I'm so 
so refreshed. This is not good. Not good at all. Who do you think you are? I'm the new graveyard keeper. Hooray! A kipper. Wow, I've been here for... Uh, how long? I'm Yorick. I'm so lonely. Poor, poor me. It's too bad you're here. Wait, no. On the contrary. I'm very glad to see you. But we do have a rather unpleasant fellow buried here. We'd really like to have a new neighbor instead. That sound like something you can help us with? I'm not exactly sure why I'm here, actually. Jerry only told me about burying bodies. You're Yorick, and he's Jerry. Funny. Ah, the half-dead skull. That jealous bastard. He can only dream of what a peaceful rest we're having. Who oh, am I kidding? It's terrible here. Especially that guy down in the lower right corner grave. He's so mean. Could you just get rid of him? Just dig him up and throw him in the river. I can even give you this license that I stole back when I was alive. What license? You're such a dummy. To dig up a corpse, you need a license. The old keeper used to buy them through the mailbox near the church. But I think here, now that we are... I think, I hope, done the tutorial, uh, is a good place to end. Thank you all so much for joining me. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I had a lot of fun. And uh, I shall see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.